we can't end this without talking about the bloodletting ritual. How did we miss How that? did we forget about that? <laughs> that was weird. I met him. You what? What? <laughs> How did you meet Mr. Bloodlet? I met him at a conference, actually. We live like, I think, half an hour from each other. He was such a sweet person. And he came up to me, he, him and his girlfriend or his fiance, I, they were both like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. In my mind, he's a goth kid. <laughs> that I pictured a goth kid. He modeled himself after the crow. No, he's that very t-shirt jean kind of guy. Just a normal um, Joe. Normal guy. There was no like goth makeup or anything like, like clean shaven and all that stuff like that. He was like, yeah, I, I'm the one you were talking about. And <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> In that episode, I was like, how did that go down exactly? And his whole thing was, he's like, I'm just trying to push the boundaries. Like, why can't I do that? So I understand it from that perspective. But at the same time, I'm like, because you're like cutting yourself with a Ouija board. I don't know. Every horror movie tells you not to do that. But um, I guess his point is, but why? But why?